a spiritual man is one who has willingly underlined that word will your will has an active role to play in your becoming spiritual willingly submitted to the lordship the leadership of the spirit of god mm. let me tell you the truth do you know how difficult it is to truly submit to the leadership of the holy spirit <laughs> when you submit to the leadership of the holy spirit the first thing that happens is a thorough disruption of life as you have defined it your way did you hear what i said a thorough disruption of life as you have defined or arranged it your way when god comes into your life he does not continue with your life the way you designed it there is a disruption of that plan is the reason why many people cannot submit to the spirit of god because you have pledged loyalty to god by his spirit this is the reason why god likes songs of surrender because he will answer them quickly in all these songs we sing god take everything say aha uh -huh, this is what i've been waiting for but you see because the spirit of god is not a demon spirit at every point in his leadership journey with you he will have to verify that you are still willing to trust him did you hear what i said he will not usurp it over you no i'm willing to guide you jeremiah 29 11 i know the thoughts that i think towards you say the lord they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end submitting to the leadership of the holy spirit is based on the understanding that god's ways are not your ways neither his thoughts your thoughts are we together that you can want life your way ah, but if you can trust god let me tell you the truth the initial point of your journey with the holy spirit will be rough and it is not rough because that's how he leads it is rough because of the bad plans you have made for yourself that in your own wisdom you believe you have designed an excellent life here he comes spirit of the living god ah. i love the holy spirit oh. hi my name is naomi welcome to the teacher's portal your unlimited access to supernatural and transformational content here we share messages of salvation solution redemption and deliverance by anointed ministers of the gospel don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe god bless when he steps into your life you who is thinking politics politics me i know i'll win the election he just comes upon you and gently he starts doing a u-turn and for some people it's 180 degrees are we together let me tell you what it means to submit to the holy spirit to submit your will to submit your plans to submit your ways and to be willing to receive from him even if it is inconveniencing you you trust the fact that he represents he is the spirit of the father and that he has your best interest it may not make sense but somewhere along the journey after 10 years you will see the wisdom of his leadership someone please listen to me because one of the ways carnal people get into trouble is judging 10 years using the myopic lens of today God can look at you and tell you join this chariot it may not make sense till after 11 years you will see why he brought you to that relationship you will see why he brought you to koinonia the version of you that came may not make sense God what are you doing with me and he says you just be consistent when he calls you to enter the ark it's because the rain is coming and just because the rain did not come for 120 years be patient when the rain comes you will see the value of that wisdom are we together yes. is the reason why the greatest way satan deceives believers is to act as the holy spirit because he knows that believers have opened up themselves to be yielded that is another discussion satan hardly attacks believers as satan he comes with the disguise of the holy spirit because he knows if he comes as satan you will cast him so he will come as an angel of light and suggest things using scripture 
but you need a level of maturity to say no even though this sounds good this is not the holy spirit god does not lead this way this is why you have to know the holy spirit before you submit to him if you submit to any voice and any entity that is not just human you will find out you have been submitting to many entities and many believers they think it's the holy spirit leading them they would die believing it's the holy spirit leading them but upon the lens of a spiritually matured person, you will see the gaps that this level of submission is to a demon spirit, not the Holy Spirit. Listen carefully. This is a deliverance service for someone now. There are people who have done stupid things in the name of being led by the Spirit. I will be showing you another element of being spiritual because if the only thing you do to be spiritual is submission to spirits, you are in trouble. I told you if Satan uses evil to destroy you and you resist it, he will use good. The most important thing is he wants you to be destroyed. So we have, respectfully speaking, we have an army of sincere people in the body of Christ doing all kinds of things and the basis of their confidence, they will tell you, see my notebook, see it. God told me, I know what I saw. You are right. But we need to judge the kind of influence. And there is a way to judge spirits. This is why the Bible says strong meat. Let me leave that one. We're coming there. You see. That you can judge spirits. If you are open hearted tonight for someone. It can be a deliverance service now. To ask yourself this journey I'm taking. I don't see the light. And I'm not. I'm seeing everything around it. Is taking me backward. I'm going into a pit. Is this really the voice of God? And when you check, you will find out that you are being led by a demon spirit and you do not know. If Jesus had to pray for Peter and say Satan desired, did he come like a, a beast with horns? You think Peter would not have resisted him? He slipped into Peter and used Peter's compassion. There are people who have left their place of glory and their place of assignment because they had a voice and the voice spoke beautifully. The voice came through a dream and said, go to this place. The voice came and turned their destiny helpers to look like demons and they got off from that dream hating the people who will bless them. Listen carefully, oh. This message is to bless you. We're talking about the spiritual man. That a spiritual man in addition to an encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit must submit to the Lordship of the Spirit. Let me tell you one classic sign to know that is the Holy Spirit leading you. There is nothing he will ever tell you that will be by force. No. You will be constrained but the Holy Spirit as the Spirit of God will always respect the will factor. The greatest gift God gave man is salvation through Christ and even that he never forced it on any man. Anything that demands that you do it by force is not the Spirit of God. It is inconsistent with the nature of love. I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. I can only advise you choose life. That's why the Holy Spirit is called a counselor. 